Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I just got my jewel cichlids to, um, I guess, spawn. You can see the babies right there. Very excited about that. This is actually a 10-gallon tank that they're in. Um, I put them over here because they were very aggressive. And then, um, I don't know, they just spawned. I wasn't expecting them to spawn. I wasn't looking for them to breed. Um, I actually have a new 75 that is cycling at the moment and they were just here temporarily until that tank finished cycling i expected to take a week or two because i actually used some media from my other 75 that they were behaving very badly in so um i was guessing within the next week or two you know um they'd be able to go into the 75 but i guess they couldn't wait and here we have first spawn first spawn from this pair first time i've ever had eggs in the tank um, I bred guppies in the past, but never any cichlids, so I'm very excited about this. Um, I see some of the eggs, I want to say about 10 of them are turning white. I guess that means they weren't fertilized, but you know, it's the first go-round for this pair, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, over here, I have a Red Devil and a Jack Dempsey. Please keep in mind, this is all temporary. Um, I've read that. If they don't have anything to take their aggression out on, especially the male, there's no fish on the other side to take their aggression out on, then um, sometimes he'll take that aggression out on the female, or sometimes they'll even eat the eggs. So I just put those two fish over there just for now um, to, you know, give them somebody to fight off so they're not being aggressive with each other. So that's what's going on there. Um, covered the filter with this sponge. I know it looks really dirty, but it just went on there today. Um, it's a dirty tank. So this is a very, very weird setup because this is not for breeding. Like I said, they were just over here temporarily. This dirt kicks up because they're cichlids, so they dig, especially when they're breeding, they dig a lot. So like you see over here, there's holes and hills and gullies. They were digging over here, and it makes a big mess. And a lot of dirt gets sucked up but um you know we're working through it they seem to be working through it you know but um i think i'm gonna leave them over here for now and um see how it goes and then when a 75 gets set up i'll probably take them out take these guys out put them all in the 75 and leave the fry in here you know those fry aren't gonna kick up any dirt so that won't be a problem um, this is Aquasol. This was actually a planted tank, as you can see. That was the primary purpose of this tank, but <laughs> that's out the window. All of these plants were actually planted at one point, but within taking fish out and chasing fish, um, they got uprooted, so they're flowing. But these plants actually get a lot of their nutrients from the stems, so the fact that they're not rooted is not a problem. They probably actually do better flowing, but um, we'll see. So I'm not too concerned about the plants. They'll be fine. My main concern is these eggs. I hope they, you know, hatch and become babies. And then we'll take it from there. Alright, thanks for watching.